Hello, my name is Matthias Trapp. On behalf of my co-authors, I'd like to present you an approach to integrate custom image processing techniques into the Unity game engine. Before I start with the technical details, I'd like to present some of the results of our work. Here you can see the output of a watercolor image stylization effect to the output of the Unity engine rendering. All parameters can be controlled interactively. Our approach enables the combination of multiple effects. For instance, here a collaboration effect as well as a pixelation effect. Now let me give you a brief overview on how this can be integrated. This shows our basic integration approach. The Unity engine calls the Unity package wrapper functionality using the engine hook on render image. This wrapper forwards the call to the actual plugin implementation via issue plugin event. For usability, the plugin functionality is encapsulated in a generic interface that is implemented by the actual image processor. This class diagram shows the static system architecture. Inside the Unity package reside classes that are available and configurable inside the Unity game engine and used together with the engine hooks, for example, on render image. The class's custom plugin are compiled to a native library. Only the C interface of Unity processor is visible to the engine. The other classes implement typical used functions for the Unity package using an existing image processor framework. This sequence diagram shows the initialization phase of the plugin. Since the usage of graphics device functions are limited to special rendering context inside the engine, the initialization phase is divided into a data transfer phase and the actual initialization phase where the saved data is applied to the use of graphics device specific code. This sequence diagram shows the per frame handling of the plugin. If required, data such as texture identifiers are updated and saved inside the plugin. Together with the rendering hook, the image processor applies the effects directly to the texture and blitz it to the output texture, which resides inside the Unity engine. Our approach can be used to perform post-processing of the complete scene rendering. Here you can see how to attach a image processing techniques to a camera in Unity. All parameters can be controlled interactively and are re applied in real time. We support a variety of different effects. For instance, here a pencil hatching effect. Now, another post-processing effect can be applied on top of it. We choose an old camera effect. 
Here you can see the results of combining a pencil hatching effect with this old camera effect. We also provide a number of preset for all the parameters. The order of the effects can be freely chosen. Besides post-processing, our approach can be used to apply image processing operation to Unity materials, such as color texture maps. This video shows how to use our integration to dynamically process texture maps or videos using the Unity game engine. Here the input videos and textures are processed prior to the final rendering of Unity. Our image processing techniques can be assigned to material textures and the processing is applied prior to rendering the scene. Thank you very much for your attention.